Hey guys, this is Derek from Fishing Frenzy TV. Today we're going to go over fluidization beds, what they actually are, how to make them, and how to use them. As you can see, they look pretty simple. They're basically just a couple pieces of PVC with a fish pump, and you can do it on your own. You can buy them. Uh, I chose to make these just because they were so cheap to make, and I didn't really want to wait on shipping or anything like that. And as you can tell, you don't need a special place to do it. I mean, by all you can tell by all the junk, this is just my shop. So. Uh, basically what a fluidization bed is, or a fluid bed, is it's a device that lets you put air in between your granules on your powder coating. So instead of your powder coating, um, you know, being stiff and you having to swish your jig around in it, it makes your powder coating more like a fluid. And you can just stick your jig down inside there and then pull it back out. I'll go ahead and start this one up a little bit and show you guys how it looks. So you got a regular old um, bit of powder coating here, and then once I turn this brass valve on, you'll be able to start to see it bubbling up a little bit. There it starts on the sides. It'll even out a little bit. You can also see how the powder coating is starting to um, get a little bit bigger. It's starting to get some more volume to it. If I just kind of keep swish this around a little bit, it'll even it out. And it's fine if you get a little bit of volcanoing as long as it's not coming out and getting all on the top and then you're, you know, you're losing powder coating material and things like that. But I'll keep it about like this, and you can see now that it's got all that air in it, it basically it's like a liquid. I mean, it just sloshes around like a liquid. It's just, it doesn't feel like a powder anymore. And what that allows you to do is instead of having to move your jig side by side, side to side in a thing of powder coating to get it evenly coated, you're just able to dip the jig down in, inside and pull it right back out. There's no resistance at all there. It just comes right in and out, in and out. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to get an even coating on your jig. You know, without this, you get some clumping and you'll get some areas that are thicker than others. And when you go to cure your jig in the oven, this is going to cause you uh, to get some dripping and things uh, like that or some deformities in your jig head. So basically, now you know what a fluidization bed is, what they're used for. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make them real quick. All right, to make these beds, you just need a couple materials. Basically what I've got here, this is a two inch coupling. This is a two inch piece of PVC that I cut down using a regular miter saw. And I cut it down to two and a half inches. So that's able to hold a regular two ounce thing of Protec or whatever type of powder paint you're using. It holds the entire thing and it doesn't uh, get too full so it doesn't come out all over the sides or anything. What I've also got here is a three inch test cap a two inch test cap, a brass valve that lets you adjust your air pressure, and that's a quarter inch OD, you can see the package. I've got a three eighths inch drill bit to drill into the coupling to put the valve in, and then some regular aquarium tubing. And then I've got an aquarium pump. This one here is for 30 to 60 gallons, it's got two outlets on it. I have two of these for four fluidization beds, but really you could get away with just one. If you just went ahead and just, if you wanted to switch it, just pull the, the plug and plug your next fluidization bed ends and so on and so forth. You really don't need two of them. That's kind of overkill. But uh, I got this thing at Walmart. It was like $10. And then I got everything else I needed at Walmart to make four of these fluidization beds. I'm sorry, at Home Depot. I got everything else for about $30. So for four of these things with two pumps and everything, I got 50 bucks in it. It's real simple. What I used was I just took some of the Gorilla super glue and I pretty much glued everything down So what I did was I took a three inch test cap just like so I flipped it upside down then I took my coupling And I made sure it was good and clean one side of the coupling has some raised writing on it The other side will be smooth So you want to use that smooth side take that smooth side and I just put a bead of super glue all along the edge Then I took I turned it over and I super glued it to my cap. What that allowed me to do is it one, it, it, it'll lock all the air inside there, and two, that cap's a little bit bigger, as you can see, so it'll make your fluid bed a little bit more stable. The next thing I did was for my filter, I went ahead and just used some regular old brown paper bag. I mean, there's lots of different stuff you guys can use. I've heard of people using coffee filters, people using Tyvek, like what you wrap a house in during new construction. Or an easy way to get Tyvek is just to, uh, if you have an old shipping envelope uh, lying around, one of those waterproof, tearproof kind, that's Tyvek. You can use that. 
But honestly, what I've had the best luck with is just brown paper bag. It works good. It doesn't cause a lot of volcanoing. It's a nice, even dispersion of air. And uh, it's easy to get. They're cheap. And they last a long time. So what I did was I took my 2-inch piece of PVC that I cut. It's 2-inch wide diameter. It's 2.5 inches long in length. And I just did the same thing. I just took a bead, put it all around the edge, and then I just kind of held the um, paper bag out with both hands and then I would put this down on top spin it around a little bit to make sure it's coated good and then just hold that down once that dried I took a pair of scissors and cut around the edge then I kind of took a knife and trimmed off any extra glue that came out that way it would go ahead and fit down inside of my coupler real well after that was good and dry I went ahead and poured my powder paint in and then stuck it down inside the coupler you got to stick it down in there pretty good and and tight that way you don't lose any air along the, the seam there the last part of it is this two inch cap and all I use that for is just to cap my powder paint paint when I'm done uh, that powder paint likes to draw moisture and if it does it's gonna clump up and it's not gonna be any good Th these don't fit real well at first what you can do is just take a strip of electric tape and run it all around the edge there and then um, cut it off and then it'll fit nice and tight and it'll keep any air from getting in there and as you can see, I mean, you can run a fluidization bed itself with multiple different cups. So you don't necessarily need to make a bunch of these for a bunch of different colors. You can just make one of the actual fluidization beds and just make a bunch of different cups. After I had the whole thing made, I went ahead and drilled in for my valve. All I did was I just drilled in as close as I could to the bottom here. I ended up drilling mine about right in here I left about a quarter of an inch down down below and to drill that in I just used a 3 8 drill bit so a 3 8 drill bit and that quarter inch valve screwed right in I didn't have to glue it or none of that stuff I just took a pair of pliers it screwed in nice and tight and it was good to go from there you basically have your whole fluid bed done all you have to do is just connect your regular old aquarium tubing you can get at Walmart connect that to your brass valve and then run that to your pump and then from there just turn your pump uh, turn your brass valve all the way off turn your pump on and then slowly turn your brass valve on until you get the right um, consistency where it's not a nice watery flow but you don't get a whole lot of volcanoing and you don't get a whole lot of that powder coating spilling outside of your cup and that's basically all there is to it guys these things are simple like I said I've got 50 bucks and four of these and that was using good brass valves and all that stuff. Uh, there's some places online you can buy them from, but I think they usually run about 30 to 40 bucks a piece if you buy them online. If you're not real crafty, that might be simpler for you. But if you are, you're, um, you're better off just making them yourself. I made these, and to make both of these, I think it took me about 15 minutes. So it's real simple, and um, I've had real good luck with it. The jigs come out super smooth. Uh, they last a long time, and I've had real good luck. So thanks for watching and good luck.